Hello. How's everybody? Just trying to put some things away. Like the remote, you don't need to see that. <laughs> Just tuck it away. <laughs> so what's everybody doing? Hello? Check it out. This is what kept my busy, self busy and I have a bunch of uh, squares behind me already in the paw shape. I just need to put the sashing and the cornerstones in between. So, how's everybody? And my friend Janice, literally, just a little bit ago, popped by with some more browns and pinks. And of course, the mail bag had some more browns and pinks, so I can't wait to add to this quilt. I might be making two at this point. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a fantastic Sunday. Hello from Arizona, hello from Tennessee. Feel like there's a song there. Yippee yo cow patty. I don't know. <laughs> everybody can hear and everybody can see and everybody's all good. <laughs> Feeling good, a little tickled today, but that's okay. It's just because we've had some weird weather. It's cold and then it's warm and then it's cold and then it's warm and then it's cold and then it's warm. It's cold. For Pete's sakes. It's flu weather. We don't need that kind of stuff around here. <laughs> yes, it was very nice of Janice. Uh, there's some very beautiful colors here. You're going to see them because I'm going to cut them up. And I've got some beautiful additions from Barb McFadden and some other beautiful additions from Pat. Pat's in the chat. She sent a big box of all sorts of goodies and her nine packs, but we'll wait for a few more people to, to come into the chat before we do the mail. We just, we have a little bit of mail, but it's, uh, I'm so, so happy it came because now I'm, I'm like even more excited to, you know, keep plugging away at this quilt. <laughs> Got 14 inches. Yeah, I know. I know exactly. Right. <laughs> is popping the can. Oh, there he is. I have just like a little screen. So. I have more of the your guys' chat so I can at least see it and not squint. Not squint with my old lady specs. <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> uh, it's everywhere, the flu. Um, thank goodness, knocking on wood. Because I haven't had, uh, I babysit kids after school this year or before school because of you know my crossing guard gig. Um, we haven't had anything major come into the house. We've had a little eh, feeling blah days and crawl back into bed and, you know, sleep a little longer and have some soup, but nothing, you know, where the Kleenex box is your, you know, buddy for the next few days and all you want to do is, you know, curl up in a ball and whine. So thank goodness. <laughs> How's everybody doing? We're all good. <clears throat> Hopefully, uh, no flus. <laughs> it's going around. I, I, you can't fight it, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so we've been working on some blocks. You can tell I'm very busy behind me. That six, we had uh, three when we left last week. So I did three throughout the week, didn't we? I think I did. Must have. Did we have three? I don't remember. Um, and then I was very busy uh, cutting and sorting this morning because I kind of don't want too many repeats. I want, you know, if I get a couple, that's okay. But uh, I, I want to kind of showcase a bit. And now I have more pinks to showcase. So we're going to do some, some putting together and then some cutting, more cutting. <laughs> Hello, Heli, Caroline, Vicky, Cheryl, Alicia, Rowena, Tina, Heather, Pat, Becky, Sharon, <laughs> Teresa, Lois. I'm sure there's, there's lots more of you there. I'm, I'm saying hello to every single body. Every single body send you a big hug. I have not heard from my mom. I've called a couple of times, left voice messages. So either she's busy or I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I can't hound her. She'll call me when she wants. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. <laughs> it's actually, we got just icy patches. We don't really have much of anything else. It was a little chilly. We had some rain yesterday, rain a little bit the day before, but it's frozen overnight. So we kind of have a little skating rink in the yard uh, and on the driveway. So it is a little slippery. 
<laughs> Hello, Robin. <laughs> oh, Donafe, I'm sorry. Thank you. Hello, Donafe. I agree. Hey, Laura Lynn, I totally understand. Totally understand. And Joe Marie's Joe Marie, my friend Mary Joe's Mary Joe. Completely understand. <laughs> Happy Sunday. It is. It is. It's beautiful. There's a beautiful sunrise this morning. I did manage to catch that. <laughs> and that's why well, I quilt all year round. <laughs> Even when it's hot outside, I'm quilting. I may not be really wanting to be hand quilting then, but <laughs> I do quilt. <laughs> all right. So let's do, um, let's put one of these together the another one of these squares that I have it's a bit of dark pink a bit a bit of light pink uh, those are the four squares that are going to go in it I've got my uh, little wood grain and some brown stars right here to go for as the claws and then I just literally cut this is Janice's um, little color donation right here it's a white whitey pink with pink branches and leaves and stuff and I really like that so I cut I cut that right out of the bag and chopped it right up just to make so the other half of the clock because I really like that I like that little nice bright color so I'm going to mark the back of all of these hello Angie's here how's Angie how's Angie doing oh sorry guess I'm can I come in now for the close-up no <laughs> See, if I keep changing position, Pop's got to come out here and readjust. So. <laughs> That's okay. Like I said, we're going to mark. <laughs> Everybody's good, I hope. Like I said, just using a pencil and just going to mark where I want to sew on. Okay. And then I'm going to line that up with its little brown buddy. And put it off to the side. I have to load a bobbin too, so that might get a little noisy. I meant to do that beforehand and clearly forgot. <laughs> but that's okay. Because we all know what it's like to fill... Oops, I did the wrong side, silly girl. Um, fill up the bobbin. I prefer the plastic uh, bobbin winder for some reason. The metal one always seems so vicious or it's always going to lose itself or something. I don't know. I've got two sewing machines that have the little metal bobbins and I always find they're very spastic for winding the bobbin. <laughs> you like the pop cam? <laughs> Cause yeah, I thought maybe Sophie was behind him. No, Sophie's right over here in front of me, in front of the long arm. We were outside. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's been a good week. Friday was a PA day, so it kind of felt like I had three days off, even though I was busy every day. But um, it was nice just to have, you know, that one little break from the the one the one job so I don't think the next one is until family day which is sometime in February I think it's after Valentine's Day um, wake up Nomi um, and then other than that it's March break so and that's a week off And it's usually pretty bitter cold, unfortunately. So no, nobody goes outside and plays. So or it's raining. So I feel so bad for the kids for, you know, they finally get a week off to play outside or, you know, play with their goodies from Christmas, especially if there was outside stuff like skipping ropes or new bikes or whatever. And it's usually just bitter cold. Usually by that time, Pop and I are starting our plant seeds and our little seedlings indoors and you know, getting them growing and we're going to have a more of a designated area for them this year. So, which, which will be nice. So living and learning, right? 
February charity quilts. I was actually talking to Pop about that just before we, we started shooting. He grabbed himself a piece of um, uh, cinnamon cake and uh, and off he disappeared into the office. So. <laughs> We're trying to get it so we can get uh, his mic working as well, but there's some hardware parts involved and, you know, and patience. Well, I'm, I'm not expecting any ch chicken, chicken this year. I have, still have my five hens, and they've been uh, laying off and on throughout the winter. Um, you know, we don't, obviously, they lay when they want to lay. It's not like we're forcing them to. So, uh, But we do provide everything that they need to, the water, the food, the light, the straw, you know, and they always get the extras from the kitchen here. Um, the... Um, you know, lettucey bits and ricey bits and vegetable bits and anything else. So, I don't know. I think I might just stick with my five until we can figure out what we're doing. We, um, we really need to rebuild our garage um, if that's what we choose to do. Our deck needs to re be redone. Uh, I'd like to put wheelchair access on the deck and so that people can come into, you know, the house or the shop or whatever. Um, you know, no matter what, I think it's, it's because it's a bungalow, it should have wheelchair access. I think it's a, even a good selling feature. So, um, oh, I can get a couple more lines out of you. Sheesh. <laughs> Let's me keep watching the bobbin like crazy. <laughs> um... Yeah, we want to do some stuff in the yard. We want to plan a few things and change a few things. So um, we'll have to see how it goes. But uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll stick with our five little hens. They're outside enjoying the sunshine right now. They were very happy to get out and flurry their little wings and stuff like that. It's a nice break for them. It's a big coop for them too, you know. It's uh, the coop is big enough for probably about 15, 15 hens, you know. So to have five in there, I'm, they're they're not fighting for space or anything like that. Everybody's got their own little spot, their own little nesting area, and no rooster to bug. So they're quite happy, quite happy and content little little hens. At least I would hope so, anyways. <laughs> yeah, replanting, unfortunately, yep. Especially when it gets, well, for you guys, it's always replanting for some of us here, no matter what, so. Okay, it's getting close. Could do at least maybe three more. <laughs> I hate to waste thread. I know it's the least expensive thing sometimes, but when you sometimes have to buy so many colors and you use so much of it, you know, I'm frugal. I'm, fru I'm frugal on everything. Oh, I think that's probably it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more. <laughs> yeah, we're all here hanging out. <laughs> okay, now, because my bobbin is out, or very much out, tiny wee bit, okay, now, put that one over there, did I have another one? Nope. Nope. I have about three empty ones here. <laughs> That's not going to quite help me. <laughs> Clearly, I've been sewing a lot. All right. All righty. Looks like I need a new spool, too. I have been a very busy crafter. So I had some more red and <laughs> gray scraps. I think Pop thought I was crazy Friday night. So <laughs> I made... <laughs> <laughs> this interesting the mail's in it so with, I'm calling it the new mailbag I'm not done yet I'm not done yet so I took 58 feet of two and a half inch 
put one inch ba uh, batting in between and folded it over and just started. Literally, I started right in the center here. There's, you can see the little pin right there, right in the center there. And then just went around and around and around and around and around and around and around. After I obviously stitched it to one whole little long rope. So, <laughs> so yeah, that was 58 feet. I measured before I decided to put it on here. So there's some uh, car fabric. fabric in here. Uh, yeah, you recognize some of that fabric. It's pretty cool stuff. I really like it. So like I said, it'd be great for a cat bed. Um, I th oh, thanks for <laughs> my chair cover. <laughs> it's, just, it's a hoodie. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So I'm going to continue to add on to this and make it make it so I get handles about midway. I'm going to try and make it here. So it'd be a good bag to take a few things if you want to go uh, to the grocery or you're taking things from, you know, uh, to Guild or Retreat or something like that or whatever, quick grocery, funky grocery bag, market bag, whatever. I'm Or even just the mail bag. But I'm not done it yet. But I thought it'd make cute little, isn't it? So I just took a little piece of in the center there and then just built up around it. So I don't know. I was having some fun and I was just sewing it out. He was working on the video for for uh, Saturday and I had to keep myself entertained. And so, you know, usually it's to trouble, but at least I made that. <laughs> I had fun too. And I learned a lot. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Glenda. I really like the way the colors, the way it kind of wove around because I, I even tossed in some of the, what the backing that I used for the gray and red quilt and, you know, and different pieces of, you know, um, no, I got the music fabric in there and I don't know, I just, I just had fun. Didn't really think, I just tried to alternate a little bit, you know, what was a lighter color, what was a red color, what was, you know, so on and so forth. So, and uh, the way it turned around uh, as it was going, I thought it was really kind of cool. So, yeah. So we just kind of, all the colors. It's funky now. And a really big hat. <laughs> you can put your collection in here. <laughs> the alien hat, or boat. <laughs> There's lots of things. A dolly bed, cat bed, make a bigger one, make a dog bed. <laughs> it kept me out of trouble, let's put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, good. I think he was already eyeing it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> it's like, hey, wait a second. Is that for me? No, it's not. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to trim all these up and then press them and nip off the little corners. And then we're going to finish out the four other blocks or the, the, other, the other block to make the 12. I was kind of reconsidering of how many one um, how many squares I wanted to go with this because, I, like I said, you know, I have to make sure I can quilt it on the long arm, <laughs> and I still wanted to put sashing. Why is that not pushing all the way? There we go. Clearly, I was not. Oh, I didn't do that seam. Oh, we only got halfway. That's right. And then I had to run out, ran out of bobbin. Okay. See, shiny object. I tell you. <laughs> it was off, it was on, who knows? <laughs> yeah, but Easter bonnet. <laughs> that would be a big Easter bonnet. <laughs> Oh, is this about, uh, um, what is it, Harry's, Harry's girl? Yeah. I don't, listen, we don't have cable television, so I couldn't tell you. And I, I don't um, look into any of that stuff on YouTube or anything, so. I couldn't tell you what's going on. Okay, there's very little thread on this one. So, I'm just going to grab my new one. And... Take this sticker off. 
Hold on. I know there's a start around here somewhere. I just got to find it. <clears throat> it's usually on the bottom. The bottom. Oh, no, it's up at the top. I see it now. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right, take the small one out. Put the big one in. And I just changed my needle just before we started to shoot. I noticed that some of my fabric was starting to um, get punched down on the corners, like if as I was starting. So to me, that's a good indication that um, I need a new needle. So oh. fuzzies. All right, where's my snips? All right, there we go. Now I had just a few to do the other side on. Just a couple here. Nothing else? Nope. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm not involved either. I couldn't tell you what's going on. <laughs> oh, is it one of those days already? <laughs> Please say no. Here, I'll turn the turn my machine down. I was going fast because it was trying to catch up. <laughs> okay, now that one's already done, so we just need to trim these four, then press them. Okay, and then nip off the corners. Alright, these two. Do, do, do. And this one. There we go. Now. Get these all pressed to the dark side again. Okay, sorry, back is to you. Ask all the questions you want, Pop has to answer. Because <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Some of these have um, two squares that are just the same in the big paw. And some that are, are two, or just, actually, I think we have a couple that are, there's one oddball out. <laughs> Why not? Because we can. Hmm. Do. So what's everybody having for dinner tonight? Or what did you have for dinner? I already made ribs, so it's already sorted. It's already sorted. Super easy. Do do. It's been a busy Sunday. <laughs> Hello, David. <laughs> Always fashionably late. <laughs> Do 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 do. Chicken takeaway. Mmm. Clean out the fridge tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's usually we have those leftovers. We have leftover days. <clears throat> Whatever can be delivered. <laughs> if we only had anything that half decently delivered out here, there really isn't. You know, I'm sorry, I'm not a big fan of Domino's pizza. I'd make my own. There's a place not too far from here. It's called Johnny's Pizza, and it seems to be pretty uh, well known. It's been there for a while. Um, 
But boy, if you don't call ahead, <laughs> you're waiting a long time to get your pizza. <laughs> What did I miss? Steph had a question. Uh, da, da, da. What was the question on? Oh, Milo. Milo's good. I like Milo. Milo. And the singer, too. It's going to be pretty little claws, that's for sure. Some cute little uh, cat fabric here, too. It's got pink. <laughs> that's all there is, but it's so cute. <laughs> it's adorable. I really, really like it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can get a take a look at that. <clears throat> It's got a bunch of cute little rainbow kittens on it. You have that fabric? Aw. <laughs> well, so did Janice. <laughs> Were you guys shopping together? <laughs> Is it cute? I mean, it's just big enough to do a couple of claws out of it for that pattern size, but I don't know. I really like it. I may just save it for something else. Because <laughs> it's only this, you know what I mean? And I don't want to cut the cats up. They're too cute. I know. Silly Manilli. Okay, all right. Now, to pair these up with their corner parts, which I found in Janice's bag. She pretty much had, uh, actually, the, yeah, had um, two of these, which I could use for corners. And there is two more over here. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Use it. <laughs> but it's only this. It's like the precious. No. Save it. <laughs> Janice is probably, use it, use it, use it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to make these two squares right here. We're, we're just roughly just shy of four, but not three and seven eighths, which I could have used for the other side of the claws. So I'm just gonna make them the three and a half that I need to be that corner uh, square unit. And then I could use it right away. Okay. Do All right, so there we go for those two, and then these two. Da, da, da. All right, now let's move that off to the side, and we'll set these out first. Put that precious over there. <laughs> okay, we'll build these two pink ones first. <clears throat> and I like those for the outsides. And we'll use the wood grain wood one there for those two. Okay. And then that one will go there and this one will be the brown stars. Actually, no, I want to use the wood grain on that, those two ones as well. Am I missing one? Oh, there it is. It was hiding in between. And then we'll leave those ones with those colors matching. That way I can put them in opposite corners and then them not having to uh, sit two of the same ones side by side. Okay, there we go, perfect. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. All right, that'll be those two and that'll be those two. So now we put them together by just doing the little half score triangles first. Or, you know, you could do this any way you like. It's up to you. Putting those together. I found if I've done one at a time, uh, I didn't make any flub ups. There's one in here that I I did the claws opposite. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I'm keeping it, I don't care. <laughs> it's my flub up, I like it, I'm leaving it. <laughs> 
All right, so those go up on those corners. Those go up on that corner. So we'll sew this, and then we'll give it a press. Do -do. And we'll sew this, and then we'll give it a press. Once you get the half square triangles done, it's really quite easy to get this block together. Happy belated birthday, Carol. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You're in great company and we love all of you. I don't know. I'm just making this up. <laughs> oh, the cake. Mmm. Loves the smell of cake. And bread. Cake and bread. Right, so that that's the two. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Hope you have a fantastic day. And get spoiled rotten with loves and hugs. Maybe just some few bucks for fabric. <laughs> Uh-oh, lost me already? Mm -mm. <laughs> we seek pop everywhere. <laughs> you lost pop too? Uh-oh, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, she came back. I'm here. <laughs> I didn't go nowhere. Been hanging out here all day. Where have you guys been? Camera's been here. <laughs> Pop said we were going 24 seven. So I've been talking to you for hours now. <laughs> Nobody in the chat. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> you guys would be bored real fast. Because they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over. Making quilts, making quilts, making quilts. Or making bags and making quilts, making quilts. Cutting fabric. <laughs> Take notes. <laughs> well, because he can see me on his monitor in the other room when and when that's going and it let, when it's not actually recording or displaying live for you guys, right? So I'd go and make faces at it every now and again. <laughs> Line that up. Just trying to make sure those two little seams are coming together where the claw points, where those two claw points are coming. I want to make sure it kind of makes that little precise intersection there. <laughs> Could I talk 24 hours? Uh, yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right, there's those two. Hey, aren't those pretty? Give them a little press. Do do do, pretty little colors. Yes. Put that there. All right. Da da da. Da 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 da. Ow, battery pack. All right, so that's two more done for the pile. So I have already one, two, three, four, five, and this was 
half of six ready to go. So that means I would end up with 12 blocks at the end. Yeah. Well, we had one. It was hooked up over there, but now it's over here. So, you know, can't have everything. <laughs> All right. Do do do. Do do do. There we go. Now, if you checked us out on Patreon, we probably could have everything. <laughs> Make everything 24 hours a day just for you guys. <laughs> I just take those breaks. I walk out. <laughs> Drop the seam ripper and go. <laughs> and teapot, well, I got my teacup right here. Actually, I left my tea bag in it. I should probably get rid of it. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I know. Some, the, good, the good quilting stuff is definitely expensive. <laughs> and a teapot for sure. Definitely need a teapot. All right, so there's that upper piece. That's that corner. And that's that lower piece. All right, so this is some of the pink from the north and south. I put it in the, uh, in the, in the box. So I figured that way I, 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 I knew where it was from. Do. Yes, thread does make a difference. Yeah, that's why I like Guterman. Guterman is good for putting, uh, you know, creating quilts and putting them together. It's a good thread. And like, and like I say, buy them when they're half price or um, they've got the half off sale or whatever. Yep. Go get two, get one. You know, feel like you're getting your money's worth and then some. Try and watch for the sales. Oops, Oops press forgot to press that. that. We'll press now. Whoopsies. All right, so let's do that. Somehow it's got a blue thread on here. Where's the blue thread coming from? Yeah, they look pretty cool. I like that pink and brown. Pink and brown looks pretty cool. All right. Do do do. You have a cup leg bowl. <laughs> no, that's a teacup. It has a handle. See? It's a handle. <laughs> it's kind of cold, but I'll finish it. <laughs> Earl Grey with a wee bit of milk. That's how I like it. <laughs> it's not a soup cup, Donna Faye. <laughs> I have that one and a green one. <laughs> exactly the same one. <laughs> soup goes in a bowl, right? <laughs> Ouch, sound jumps? Oh. Sorry, Sue. Does anybody else have any issues? That's not good. Oh, weird. Maybe it's my... Oh, check my battery pack, make sure everything was pushed together because sometimes we get some fuzziness. Uh-oh. 
Well, there is a sound issue. Well, mine's all tucked in. Cup of soup. <laughs> oh, true, Judy. <laughs> used it for soup too but it's my favorite teacup one of my favorite teacups <laughs> I fill up on warm beverages <laughs> Yes, cup of soup. Cup of soup. Usually Campbell's cup of soup. All right, let's press these two. All right, and then we'll go through mail. Now that I have this, the, the one other paw block, the four paws finished. Well, to the point of needing the sashing and the cobblestone, cornerstones, cheaper scrapers. I will get that. The right way? Nope. I had a feeling something looked different. <laughs> I needed to use the seam ripper today, apparently. <laughs> At least I didn't get all the way. <laughs> Before I realized, wait a second, something not look right. <laughs> I've done enough of these to know. <laughs> Should have been on the other side. Oh, snaggle tooth. Shazam and Eater, Shazam, Shazam. All right, there. Now, line up, and away we go. All right, now we can press that one. Isn't that cute? All right, so for mail, obviously, you know, we have fabric donation from Janice. I will show you that first. Da, da, da. Okay, here is her collection right here. It's very pretty, some pinks and some whites. It's very lovely. It's got some flowers. I'm going to use some flowers and, and stuff like that. So we'll cut those up. And of course that. And then her browns, which were, oh, right here. Right here. Beautiful browns. Uh, very leafy looking and like marble tone. And some little dots and uh, a little movement, a little zigzag there or lightning strike or something like that. It looks very nice. Very, it's got lots, lots of little colors in there for the browns. It's quite lovely. So thank you very much for that, Janice. Put it in the mail bag, okay? And then this is from Barb McFadden. I think she's California, I believe. She doesn't uh, usually get to sell them to watch on Sunday afternoon, so she watches later. So thank you, Barb, for all your stuff. And this is her nine patch. Isn't that lovely? And we needed some more because I was about seven short of finishing off that kind of queen size charity quilt. Uh, by the time I put it on the uh, on point and on the diamond, uh, it, uh, on the uh, on point anyways, um, I'm, I needed a few more. So I was either going to make them up or wait for a few more blocks to come in. So thank goodness I got a couple more blocks coming in. So thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Yes, please do. And then, of course, now I'm going to use some of these beautiful pinks that she's donated to the pink and brown quilt. Isn't that lovely? This one's got a little sparkle on it. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Actually, I think I had some blue like that. I'm pretty sure. I think I got blue like that in one of my knees. And, of course, uh, the gingham. Beautiful. So, yeah, it's gonna have to, I think this may have to be a big quilt. <laughs> I was going to stop at 16, but I don't know now. <laughs> 
Yes, thank you very much for that, Barb. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, Yes, from, oh, sorry, that's Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I apologize. Uh, this one was from California, Sandy Thomas, uh, Thousand Oaks, California. And this is her little nine patch. Uh, she's born in Buffalo. Uh, hold on. Working on a quilt. Um, for victims of oh the fire in Ventura oh okay sorry um oh wow isn't that beautiful though the, and that's awesome that's great that you're doing that Sandy that's fantastic wow that's probably a lot uh, probably a lot of victims for that for sure well thank you very much for your nine patch for our little charity quilt it's going to be a, a big size big size so Thank you, Barb. Thank you, Sandy. Okay. And then we have Pat. Pat generous huge box for Pat. Oh my goodness. It's like Christmas. Okay, let's just move those there. Okay. And she there I've got like a whole bunch. There's Christmas fabric and there's um, the stuff for Wizard of Oz quilt. And she she sent along some uh, pinks for the um, uh, pink and brown quilt and then this is her lovely nine patch oh beautiful absolutely beautiful oh love the paisley love it <laughs> isn't that cute thank you so much for that pat love it love it love it love it and then she sent along um some more of the patches so i can build a few more to go with this the for the for the quilt as well so thank you very very much so we can make i'm sure we got ourselves a full one here and then these beautiful fabrics oh nice little strip will that make a nice bag hmm. <laughs> and then these beautiful ones showcase for the pink look how lovely those are check those out oh Fancy, fancy, fancy. Oh, that's beautiful. Very rainbowy, rainbowy collection there. Love it. Thank you very much. Love it, love it, love it. So beautiful. I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to start cutting some of this up, okay? <laughs> hope you're all right with that. <laughs> all right. I need to look at some different pinks. <laughs> The pinks are brown. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put all these back out here so I can use them. Put that bag there. Over here. Put that back over there. All right. Now, to build some more blocks. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we've already used a little bit of that. And we've used a little bit of that. So we should put that in the bag. Give everybody equal opportunity. And I have this little bit of this. There's already two squares in it. But I was trying to hum and haw about whether they're adding two more. But now I have all this. I'm going to keep this for something else. So, isn't that cute? Almost looks like a little kimono. <laughs> it's adorable. Well, Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Did you notice she stashed the cats? What are you talking about? What did I miss? <laughs> All right, so that's going to stay there. Oh, oh, you mean this? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> All right, so we don't want to use any more plaid because I have plaid in there already. So I've got these lovely browns and these lovely pinks. And let's do some cutting here. So I have a bunch of three and a halves. I don't have to use them though because they're in the quilt already a couple of times. And I've got, and these, these are tiny little strips here. So I'll use those for something else. Keep those there. But I still need cornerstones for six blocks so let's do that let's do some cornerstones let's do this and this 
What else do we got here? This and this. Okay, we just need little bits. That's the hard part. So I feel like I don't want to cut into a big chunk if I can get little bits off. There we go. Do that instead. I still want to give these guys equal opportunity for claws. There we go. Okay, that we should have enough chunks. Okay, between this, this, and this, and this, we're good to go. Okay. Fabric, fabric, love fabric. Yes, we do. <laughs> Everybody has their thing. You know, whether it's fabric, or it's tools, or it's wood, or it's clothes, or it's shoes, or it's appliances, or Tupperware containers, or <laughs> baskets, or clocks, <laughs> bags. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just going to stand up for a couple minutes. Hopefully I'm not in anybody's way, but I, we do have some cutting to do, so I'm, my head's not getting chopped off. Okay. Okay, we need one and a half by one and a half, and that's for the... Um, cornerstones and we need six of them Is it about one and a half it's one and three quarters okay so there's one I can make two out of that one Okay, that's three. Okay, three more. Yeah, I still have a little bit more of hand stitching to do on the binding for the red and gray, but it's getting there. I was trying to finish up uh, Joe Marie's quilt. <laughs> Before she comes over and has tea. Don't want to say, hey, could you wait five minutes while I finish your quilt? <laughs> Here, have a piece of cake. <laughs> All right, those are the little squares that we need for the cornerstones. And of course, we need five, sorry. Four little strips for each block of nine and a half. There we go, on the nine and a half. Okay, so that's one. We'll set them up here. It got quieter because of a screeching mic. Uh-oh. Mm. Sorry. I don't know. I don't think it's my end. Okay, got all those little pinky bits. There we go. 
no problem here. You have good sound. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, my, my, I make sure all my mic is working and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It's always something. It always seems to be something. Whether it's on our end or not, but it always does seem to be something. <laughs> All right, so two more. I don't know if I have enough cut. No, I don't. Okay, so we'll move those two off to the side and we will do four of these blocks. So we'll do the one we just did. And we've got a couple of other ones here. Two. I like that one. Three. So let's do that. That one. And then that one. And that one. And that one. Okay. Now. Ooh, that's cute. It's very Valentine-y. Very Valentine fabric, actually. I like that. It's adorable. All right, but we're not going to use that. It's cute, but we're not going to use it. Okay, I like that. Ooh, more sparkles. Shiny. It's shiny. <laughs> okay. All right, I want six and a half. Okay, that's beautiful. Love the little butterflies on that. Is that ever cute? Is that ever adorables? <laughs> Super cute, some adorables. I like that a lot. I think I like it so much, I'm going to make a four blocks. All right, so clean line. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a half. Okay, I'll move that to the pile. Da -da. Nice clean edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a half. Line it up. It's already at the half. Four, five, six. And there we go. Beautiful. Isn't it cute? Super cute. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that'll be for another square. Let's move this over here. Okay. There we go. Put that back in the, in the collection. I feel like a Star Trek. In the collection. <laughs> I think these would make... How big is that actually? So, three and a half. Get some three and a half out of that. We could do that. We could do that. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so that'll be two. Move him into the pile. Cut four. Two. One, two, three, and a half. One, two, three, and a half. Three and a half. 
There we go. Those are the corner ones. And now we need to make our other claw ones. The claw side. Ooh, I like that. That's light enough. It's got just enough lightness to it. Let's give it a little press. And we'll get, cut some three and seven eighths out of this pretty little pink. Okay, so we're going to give ourselves a nice clean edge at first. Okay. And then ruler at three and seven eighths. That off to the side. That goes down in the little bucket. <clears throat> or if it's too small for the scrappy bucket, it goes into the other bucket. Which will eventually be made into something at some point in time, somehow, some way, some whatever. <laughs> okay, so we need two two sets for each claw, right? Because you need two uh, light and two dark to make each set. So that's two paws there. Does that make it? Ooh, just by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Excuse me, I burped, I apologize. Okay, there we go, so that's three. And if I can get one more out of here. Okay, line that up. Three and seven eighths. Okay, so that should be that one. And now for the brown, let's see. Oh, what did, oh there they are. I like this one right here. Give that a little press. And then we'll cut the three and seven eighths out of the brown to make the claw part. Oh, it's a beautiful day here too, Margaret. It's a beautiful day here too. Well, the ending of one anyways. Well, not quite. It's still very nice and sunny and it's, uh, you know, 403. 403, sorry. O is a letter of the alphabet, not a number. So that's one. Is that going to give me enough for two? Oh no, it's too short. That's okay. It's okay. We got more brown. We got lots of brown. So that's one paw. So we need to make the other paw. Okay, we got two matching paws. Okay, and then this other brown for a couple more. And then we'll put the other one together. Do 
Alright. There. All the little nippy bits. Right there. And there. Okay, now back to where we started. Now I'm marking those. We'll build the other block and then we'll put one together and and then uh, we'll be good. <laughs> What's up, Pop? Okay, now marking these with this tool. Hopefully I made enough. You mark it on either side of the line or either side of the ruler. Mark a line. Or if you want, you can draw one right down the center and ride the foot on either side of it. It is a very small world. I have to tell you that. <laughs> It is, you know, Pop and I have lived in a few places and, and we can honestly attest to, yes, it is a very small world. You don't think it is with us billions and billions of people on it, but, uh, you know, we really are one small little planet. I'll match these pinks up to the browns I just cut and then sew down on either side. Okay. It doesn't really matter because they're all pink or the same, so it doesn't really matter who goes with who. Just as long as uh, I match the right sides together. That is the key. Okay. I like all the different shades of pink and the different shades of brown. I never really thought there was that many shades of pink, but there really, there's a lot. There is a lot. And I was never much of a pink fan, but when my nieces came along, I worked with a lot of pink. <laughs> and then for my, you know, for my sister and my sisters and my other niece and you know, there's a great niece now and probably more great nieces and great nephews coming. It's nice to be able to uh, make them something special, for sure. A keepsake, a true treasure. <clears throat> At least I think so anyways. That would be so funny if you guys knew each other. <laughs> the, the common denominator was the friend of Margaret and Sassolette. <laughs> she is what kept the glue together. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Doing the UFO thingy today? That's fantastic. I was doing that yesterday, as you saw, which was nice to get things finished up. And as soon as I put the pillow on the bed, it got tossed to the floor because Pop did, well, I tossed it to the floor, but Pop like shoved it over to my side. I'm like, yeah, it's supposed to be decorative. <laughs> it may go in the chair. <laughs> Not much for decorative pillows. <laughs> Actually, I think I need to get a new bed pillow. I think I have a, a silk one right now, and it's only lasted about, I don't know, three or four months. So it seems like every 
six six months. I gotta go get a new pillow. And this one's been I've been flipping and flopping with. Sorry, I got fuzzies up my nose. Um, for months now. Oh, the pillow? I th I think so. I liked it. I liked it. It was something new. You know, I hadn't tried the clamshell before. And the key to that is really lots of pins. Is pinning the ends, finding the centers of the curve, the arch, the this and the that, the concave and the, um, the curve of it. Uh, and then pinning the little pins to the sides and then taking your time sewing. Um, I don't think I have that many patients. So. <laughs> That's why I don't think I could do a really big quilt. <laughs> Maybe at some point in time, but I'm, I'm working my way through my list of quilts this year. That's for sure. Now, to trim all those up, okay, make sure I got both sides, I think so. Last time we needed a bob and fill, right? So, but I think everybody got their trim. Okay. All right, now it's a cut. Yeah, I got some really super cute, fun fabrics for the weekend project next weekend for the kids' quilts. Um, kids' quilts are, I'm making them for charity, but you can certainly make them for whomever, uh, you know, you want. I'm just making it so it, you can showcase some of the really super cute kids' fabric that they have out there. And Angie, when she came to visit... Um, the time before last, uh, she brought me a bunch of yard fabrics and a lot of it was great for kids stuff and I really want to kind of get into that as well as some solid colors to kind of complement because I want to make this go, those fabrics go as far as I can. So if I piece it with some solids then I think that'll help complement all the, and make those really colored um, uh, kid fun pieces really stand out too. So hopefully, fingers crossed, because I've got some solids we can work with. So, all right. So now I've got my batch for my one huge uh, paw block, the big four. I'm just gonna press them, okay, to the dark. Uh, I haven't <laughs> haven't quite totally decided there, Claire. <laughs> I think t five by five is a bit big is like really big um so i'm thinking four by four with a nice sashing in between so that makes 16 blocks so uh, if i have the ones i've done plus make another three more because this will be four three more of the other fabrics that i got with the pinks and stuff like that then that should give me my 16 and then next weekend we can start putting them with the sashing together and finishing it up i don't think i'm going to do a border on it it's i think it'll be big enough if anything it just take a little bit more of that sashing that's going around the blocks and take it to a little bit maybe a little bit thicker around the outside edge just to make sure when when quilted it's nice and even so Yeah. Oh no, we're not stopping YouTube. No. No, no. Um, I think a darker pink. What do you think? Or brown? Should I pull that brown back in? I was hey, hey. I was humming the hand about the brown. There's no sashing up here right now. That's what it looks like without an E. Um, and I thought maybe after I did this block, maybe put up a couple pieces and see how that goes. 
So, and, and see, maybe brown, maybe pop in a bit of that brown, because the brown's only the, the claw at this point, even though the main feature of the quilt is, is the pink, of course, but, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to overpower with pink if you, if we think of maybe that, a pop of brown back in there for the sashing um, between the big blocks itself uh, would be a good idea. So pressing these all to the dark, and then I will nip off the corners. Uh-oh. Mr. Clive, come here, buddy. Want your time? Hey. You want your camera time, Mr. Clive? Hey, where are you? No, nope, he don't want another. Oh, Sophie does. <laughs> Sophie's like, you call my name. No, no. Hi, baby. Hi, little lopa pulp. What's it doing? Hi, lopey popey. Can they see you? I don't think they can see you. No, they can't. Here, come over here. Hey, hi. Oh, there he goes, Mr. Jealous Pants. Mr. Jealous Pants, Clive. It's so weird. He was meowing at like the wall, and then meowing at the thread cabinet, and then I don't know. He's really living up to his wackadoodle name, aren't you, buddy? Okay, now. Now. <laughs> now. We're going to nip off the corners. Corners. Brown will look good. Ooh. Brown with pink there, maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm. I'll think about that. Yeah, we'll introduce. We'll introduce and see what we like, okay? I like that idea. A little bit of reverse there. Just enough to bring in that brown and pink again. That's a good idea. I like that. Maybe when I move? Is that it? Uh-oh. I don't know. See, if we just get a boom mic. <laughs> the boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Yeah, it gets louder when she moves because she's speaking more directly into the mic. Can you guys hear Pop? Mystery solved. What? Hmm. Well, I'm sorry. Yes, you can. <laughs> they can hear you. Well, that's good. Because I can't. <laughs> Alright, almost done. And then we get to put some blocks together. Almost done. Do, do, do. Alright. What you doing, Clive? Where are you running off to? Okay, now these built two at a time. It's cute. Love the little purple and red flower. It's very pretty. Okay, now set this up so you have. Your claws facing in. Okay. And since they're all the same, it doesn't matter which way, which ones go with which. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the talking is. <laughs> And uh, what is it? Top hat pop? <laughs> I told him you guys would like the, the pop cam. He's like, no, they won't. I'm like, well, yes, they will. They want to see you too. It's not all about me, man. <laughs> Hello, Doreen. Welcome to the channel. 
Uh, thank you for being our first Patreon. How do you say your name, Helma? That was very nice of you, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations on being the first. Okay, hold on, I didn't want to mess that up. Okay, just go that way. Got all excited. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, what? Now you're coming back? All right, come on. Come on. The peeps want to see you. Let's go. Come on. All right, there we go. Mr. Clive is going to help. No, no. <laughs> what? The peoples. The peoples are there. Wave to the peoples. Hey? Wave to them. Hmm? You loving my machine? You loving Nomi? I love Nomi too. Especially when Nomi works. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Thank you very much. It means a lot. It really does when people, you know, uh, feel that the content that you have is worthy uh, enough for, for, for that. It really does. Uh, it uh, speaks volumes. It really does. So thank you very, very much for that. Are you helping? <laughs> like, do I start sewing? <laughs> Just hold it here for him to love for a smidge. <laughs> okay, can I? Okay, there we go. You're lucky I letting you two paws on the desk. Hey, okay, nope. Okay, nope. You can sit there, just not on the desk. It's not allowed. <laughs> Now remember, if you're not helping, that means you're hindering, okay? <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> Mr. Clive, you're so funny. <laughs> Light it up, yeah, with this little pause. <laughs> there we go, hey. <laughs> you good? <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm ow, ow, hey, 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 that's flesh, thanks. Ow. <laughs> Make it hard to sew. <laughs> ow, tenderizing the arm as sewing is not good. <laughs> Can you hear him perk? Ew. Stick his nose on my lip. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, you got a claw on my sweater. There we go. Are we good? Are you are you done with your loving time? Ow. Hey. No. That's how I lose more things. It's because of you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Are we good now? <laughs> okay, come on. I I think you go. Come on. No. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> Fur. <laughs> he has a silent partner, <laughs> not so silent, purring in my ear. <laughs> he was meowing like crazy earlier, so I put his harness on him and took the like extended leash sort of thing for, you know, when we used to train Sophie to bring the frisbee back and stuff, and put him on there and let him wander around the yard because it was so nice out. He wanted to go outside. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. Oh, yes, please, still send your block. 
Yes, whichever, either for the nine patch charity quilt or for the the world quilt. I'm going to wait just a smidgey longer because lots of people still wanted to partake when we were talking about it at Christmas time there. So uh, please get your block in. Can't, can't we even continue even whatever day this is? Um, if you want to send in a world quilt block, uh, represents who you are, what you are, what you like, or where you're from, or whatever, um, that's, bring it on. Love to have it. Very honored. Very, very honored to have that and put it together. Okay. So there's another paw done. Uh, the nine patch is five inch squares. It's a little charm with five inch squares and you may turn that into a nine patch uh, using five inch squares. And the other one is a nine and a half inch uh, edge to edge um, of one that's for the world quilt. So whichever represents you or what you like or make a bear paw. This turns out to be nine and a half. Make it. Make it with some of your colors. Your, your country, your state, your... You know, your school colors, your whatever, your whatever. If you like hockey, you know, we've got uh, quite a few lovely ones. Got roads and got, you know, beaches and all sorts of fun things. So there's those two that Clive was kind of helping me make, but not really. <laughs> okay, so that's those two. Okay, we'll make these two real quick and then we'll put sashing on one of these okay and then we'll call it a show we'll call it a show a rub it up dub thanks for the grub we'll call it a show do 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 meow says mr crive Meow, 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 this is Mr. Clive. Mr. Wackadoodle Cat Clive. He's got lots of names. <laughs> Clive, Clive, Clive Paws, yeah. <laughs> he was trying to help there. He had his little nails stuck into my, my green board there. Bye, Pat. Thank you very much for everything that you sent. Big hugs and loves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. That was super nice of you. And I can't wait to start tucking in and using lots of your bits and bobs. Thank you very much. Very generous. Big heart. This one together. Do the, yeah, have a great week. I think we're back up into the. Actually, I think we're okay most of this week, temperature wise. I think we're hovering about the minus 10 and up. Celsius, of course, not Fahrenheit, Celsius, um, as we are Canadians. Um, and, uh, but, and then the first week of the major first week of February, which obviously is the one after, uh, we're into back to frigid went temperatures so yay for minus 28 so and so forth celsius do 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 all right i'm loving these blocks loving these colors So there's that one. Okay, and we'll finish off this one. And then put the sashing on one of the ones I've already built. You can see that. Or the paws done anyways. And then uh, you'll see that making some progress. I guess we'll see how it turns out for next week. <laughs> how many how many sizes it is? <laughs> I think 16. 16 with the brown and brown sashing uh, between the blocks with the pink cobblestones, cornerstones. 
um, I think would look really awesome, really, really awesome. Liking it more as I'm thinking about it. Kind of brings that brown back in a little bit and with that little uh, pop of bright pink in the middle of that brown. Yeah, that's, that's looking nice. It sounded nice anyways. Eighty one degrees, holy moly. We don't get that until like midsummer here. All right, line that up and then give it a press. Do 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 and thank you to everybody who shows up but doesn't make a comment or uh, can't chat or something like that. We will have a techie talk on how to get into the chat or to chat uh, via Apple uh, consoles like iPads or something like that or little tablets or whatever. Um, so hopefully that will help a lot of you who want to say something and can't uh, be, give you a chance to. So that would be awesome. Texas heat? Yeah, I bet. <laughs> What's up, buddy? You had your time. You had your time. No, no. You had your time. All right. All right, there we go. That was cute. Totally cute. Thanks for the fabric. <laughs> They are pretty paws. This is gonna be so lovely. I can't wait to get it quilt, like get quilting on it. I really can't. I think it's gonna be so beautiful. I have to think of something to do in each of these paw prints here or something, you know, because I kind of want to customize this one. Okay, so that's this one all ready to rock. Just needs it sashing in its cornerstones, and we'll put this one together. Okay. This is I have. Two of one color and two of another. Okay, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna flip and flop them. So I can get one in one corner, one in the other. Get my brown in the center. And then my sashing. So that's gonna go there, that's gonna go there, this is gonna go here, and that's gonna go there. So easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Probably square this one up a little bit. It's a little bit on the wonky side. Uh, do, 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 do. Hello, Grace. Happy you're here. Hello, Grace. Happy you're here. All right, so squaring that up a bit. Now, make sure you got my paws going on the right way. They're going to whoop, whoop. Going to do the party. <laughs> do the ones on either side first and then the ones in between. And thank you to everyone who donated to this uh, pink and brown quilt that we got going on here. We'll finish it up next week for sure. You'll see how the, the finished results are. And then we'll, uh, after that, the Wednesday after that, we'll uh, be able, hopefully be able to show some of it on Longer Wednesday. Okay, and there's half a set. I love the pink and brown too. I didn't think I was gonna at first, but I really do. Oh, I didn't even know that she had one out oh, for pink and brown colors. Oh, well, they're here. Sli silently, uh, but didn't know it, honoring Miss Nancy Zeman. Oh, cool. Braid quilt. Actually, I had a idea for uh, the, the braid quilt, actually, for, in, with my scrappy stuff. So hopefully it works out. And, um, and you'll, you'll see it come up. It's on, it's on the list. It's on the list of ones to do, that's for sure. It looks really cool. And same with the one that was the twist. So it looks like it's got like a t twist is spiraling down. That's another one that's on the list.
figure if I don't do them, I'll be really mad at myself because I have the opportunity. I have the time. I make the time. It's not like, you know, as, in, as anything, you make the time. If you want it bad enough, you make the time. I was hoping to actually have more done on it before today, but uh, I just wasn't feeling all that too hot this week. Like I said, it was something, you know, some of those little bit sluggish days and because we had some of the bit of the wacky weather. And so it was just kind of, oh, I'm going to bed early, watch a show and then be sound asleep by eight o'clock. So, but be up early. Doo -doo. All right, now I'm just putting a little cornerstone on right in between the two little pink sashings and then I'm going to line them up and this is where uh well I'm going to press these two all these three first for and then we're gonna then we're gonna line some stuff up and this is where I say you know uh pinning you can do it or not but in this situation when at this point here where you want to line it up between your four paws you want to pin I think I called it my anal pants last week, and I think I had Diane 57 laughing. Uh, but yes, you know, you do want to be very particular or uh, peculiar. Pe yeah, no particular, not peculiar. Everybody's peculiar as it is. Um, with making sure that those, that those four little points are lining up with that little tiny little square, okay? All right, so you see that little tiny one right there? You want to make sure it's lining up right in there, okay? So you're going to take your four pins. Oh, well, thanks, Becky. It shouldn't really be stressful. The main point is to have fun. If you're not having fun, then you need to find a new hobby. I mean, maybe try woodworking or chainsaw carving or something, you know, you know, maybe that's, you'd find more fun with that. But if you're not having fun playing with fabric and, and mixing colors and trying new things and putting things that you never really thought would go together and then they go together and, and challenging yourself, you know, that's the, that's the best thing. You know, I've never done anything like this before, but I'm so happy I am doing it. I'm learning a lot along the way, and I've got more for my collection, right? And everybody needs more for their collection. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Just so. <laughs> Just so the line. <laughs> All right, maybe don't sew over your pins. Just come up next to it. <laughs> Hello, Linny. She actually saved me <laughs> from a massive. She she didn't make me cry. She say I, I cried because of my spelling mistake and the. Uh, anyways, it was just a big blah blah. So, but thank goodness she spotted it before anybody else did, and I had a chance to fix it before giving it away to the uh, gentleman whose birthday party was yesterday. So I had to have it finished. I was so proud. I was strutting like a little peacock around here with the way I was. I'm like, oh, look how the little landscape turned out. And it was just something that I draw, I sketched out. I saw it up on the big screen and sketched it out. And I thought, okay. And then, then I stitched it out and put this place where he was born in and then realized I missed an H right in the center, right in the center. So I was like, oh, now how do I fit an H in there? Are you kidding me? I was like, oh. So I literally, I had it in front of me with the seam ripper. It was like two tears cried in the river. I'm like, just blend it in. It'll be okay. <laughs> I was like, oh. So anyways, I did fix it and he loves it. I made him cry. So not that I wanted to make him cry, but he was obviously that, that you know. So kudos. I did good. And thank you, Lenny. Lenny. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> she caught the post. See the benefits of being in the mom and pop uh, quilt shop mafia group on Facebook. You get to see some of the stuff that I don't nor I don't post anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> But I really thought I had it, Diane. That's the thing. I had it up on my monitor, and I and when I stitched it out, I'm like, and I'm like, and I was like, hey, okay, and that's why it was off and trimmed and ready to go. And I was, I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> big pouty lip. <laughs> that's okay. Fixed, 
fixed and he's happy. So, and I put a nice little uh, corner pockets so he could hang it up on his wall. And he was happy with that because apparently his daughter texted me and said it's going on the wall. So, um, I'll take that. <laughs> Tears of learning, exactly. Tears of learning. <laughs> I'm just glad it got caught before I gave it away. I probably would have noticed it at some point in time when I was doing like the triple check or whatever, but glad I had ample opportunity to fix it without being stressed to the point of last minute sweating it out, you know, 20 minutes before I got to go to the party sort of thing, you know. Yeah, so no harm, exactly. <laughs> I told him, I said, you know, one time we'll talk about a story behind this while hanging Carl. <laughs> but I could tell, and apparently the little, actually I'll get the, the one I, I drew of first half. Hold on a second here, one second. This was my first initial one, but I did it in pen. So I had more, uh, so I had an, an idea of what I was doing. So anyways, apparently, oops, this way, oops. This, this church right here, the one right here in the picture, was where they got married at. Isn't that awesome? Of all the photos to, to draw from or sketch from, I picked this one, right? You know what I mean? Like, isn't that just kind of the weirdest thing? <laughs> I thought it was like, uh, the world is small. Because she, you know, his wife says, oh, we got married in this church right here. I'm like, no kidding. <laughs> so when the fact they recognized her right away, to me, it was very heartwarming, let me tell you. It was very fantastic. Yes, thanks, Ellie. It was awesome. I'm like, no. Huh. Like, of all the ones, there were so many la pretty landscapes. Uh, to choose from because I wanted to pick something that he would recognize considering he was born there and he spent you know first 20 some odd years of his life there he would recognize a lot of the landscapes uh, or arc no oh, no no we're not petting now kitty cat go so I just I just I did good I felt I felt I did something nice and I surprised him which was even better because I'm sure he's not been very many surprised in his life that's for sure Oh, probably, probably what made him cry. So he knew exactly what it was. He knew the fortress, the Mon Monuter, M-U-N-O-T, I think, M-U-N-O-T, yeah. Uh, 40, but apparently it's a winery now, so fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I was going to add some color, green trees, and I thought, no, just leave it the way it is. So there'll be one block when it's all finished. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Oh, thanks, Sharon. I just, what do you get a man who's 70, who's been in this country majority of his life, but, you know, is from Sweden, is very proud of his, uh, sorry, Swiss, Swiss heritage. Um, Swiss, and, Swiss and Sweden are two different places, and I just got to get that settled in my mind. So I was very proud of his Swiss heritage. So I thought, what well, more to, I, you know, you don't make him a quilt because you don't. I don't know what he likes and what he doesn't like, but make him a nice little wall hang. It was a good size. It was like 40 by 20 or something like that. So, good chunk. Something that, you know, I was hoping that he'd be proud to hang on the wall. And now that I know it is hanging on the wall, so that's good. That's good to know. It was a worthy art project. Sometimes you just get an idea in your head and you just kind of got to roll with it. It was just like... You know, what else do you give them? And I didn't know what else to give them besides something artsy-fartsy-like, so. <laughs> I am making lots of things. I have to keep myself out of trouble. <laughs> but there we go. So I've got quite a few more to go. So that's seven done and six waiting to get finished. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six waiting to get finished. So that'll make 11. And then, no, it won't make 11. That'll make 13. So we have a few more. A few more to go. Got three. The red and black trim. Oh, oh yeah, thank you. That was a little bit of the flange there. Um, 
I did ask for little suggestions of what it should be for uh, black or white or red, and uh, a couple people suggested the red and the black together, or, or you know, and I wanted something to pop, but it really that red next to the black with the white, that and then the red and the black next to each other really does. It makes it fantastic. So, and I sewed the red down on the front, and then with, and I made sure that was uh, one, one inch. Made sure I cut that at one inch and folded it in half, and then sewed that down next to the uh, seam allow or the edge all the way there, and then sewed the black onto the back, and then flipped it to the front, and then stitched it down. So it had the red, which was nice and loose, but stitched, and then the black right on top of it. So it did look good. All good. Block of the month is almost done. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the next one. So next weekend will be uh, kids charity quilts or kids quilts, easy to do for charity. Uh, we'll try and make it a very standard size and go from there. I don't want to make them too small and I don't make them too big. I want to make sure they're, they're, they're usable. Um, and, uh, and then hopefully we'll get them all quilted up with some fun patterns uh, that Walt has in his collection. Like he's got um, mazes and swirls and, um, um, Martians and shoes and flowers and butterflies and basketballs and soccer balls and tools and four by fours, all sorts of fun patterns that he's got on there that I totally use for kids. So it would be uh, very fun to do for sure. <laughs> yeah, I keep me out of trouble. I, 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 I sew, I sew a lot. Um, I don't put something on good on the television the way you go. Pop's usually busy with other things, so I'm out of his way. I'm not sitting beside him going, what are you doing? What you got going on? What's happening? You know, I don't, good, I don't, I don't do well sitting there doing nothing. So, and we don't have like a couch or, and we don't have like a dining room table or anything. It's, I've taken the, this, this area over with the long arm and the sewing machine. So it's our computer chairs or we go and read in bed or you know I hand stitch or or you know crochet or knit or whatever so yeah it keeps me out of trouble how wide that's a good question eh um these ones are one and a half so I was thinking I don't know maybe maybe two inches let's see what's two inches that's two inches. And you gotta think if that's in between each block and if I'm going four and then around the outside, it's still gonna be a very fair size quill. Like I, I, if we did the five by five, I probably would not be able to get it on the long arm. <laughs> and that can stitch 120 by 120 without any issue. <laughs> See, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish, um, I wish I could sew more in the morning, but I'm always up at like 4.30, 5 o'clock, like wandering around. So that's when I usually go and deal with or check out Facebook and, um, you know, pay bills. <laughs> Who was that running in the corner? Uh, I don't, something was running in the corner. Oh. Maybe that's Clive. <laughs> Maybe three. You think three? Do it a little bit bigger. Let's see what's three inches. That's about there. Is that enough distance to break up that um, flying goose too? Because that secondary pattern that's forming here is the flying goose, right? If we if we, if we were to not put the sashing in, there's a little goose here, goose here, goose there, goose there. Goose is here, goose is there, goose is everywhere. Cluck, cluck, clear, cluck, cluck, there. <laughs> Look like a little zombie running around? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's probably when somebody subscribes to the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop channel. That probably popped up. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> See, it was right. <laughs> Opposite side of the pop cap. I don't know. All right. Well, okay. We'll sign off there, everybody. So thanks very much for watching and liking and subscribing and 
and thumbs upping. And if you want, please check us out on Patreon. It's another way to help support us at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop here and doing the things that we love to do for charity and for you guys and for ourselves. We have a lot of fun and we're learning lots all the time. So thanks everybody. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you on Long Arm Wednesday where we're going to stitch out the moose that Pop did on Tech Thursday. All right. Take care, everybody. See ya. Thanks for coming. Thanks for your time. <laughs>